So this video is for the chapter six classwork number two for those who were absent. I'm um, just kind of running through. We did complete all of this. Whatever you did not finish, in, we did not finish in class. We did for homework. So this is something I do want you to complete and submit. Um, I went over a few of these problems for the class. So I'm going to go through those with you here. And then you can do the rest of them. If you have questions, email me. So what we're doing on each of these, okay, um, and again, this is chapter six, classwork number two, page eight through nine. We are trying to solve these for whatever variable they're asking us for. So on letter A for 6-13, we want to solve this for H. So what that means is I want to get it to be H equal. So I want to get this H by itself. That's my goal. And we're going to get an equation. We're not going to get like a, an answer like a number. So let me just rewrite this here real quick. A equals one half B times H. Now what I'm going to do is um, I don't like that one half. So to get rid of one half, I'm going to fraction this. I'm going to multiply this side by two and this side by two. Now, when I do that, one half times two, because they're reciprocals, they make a one. But another way to think about it, I have a two on top and I have a two on bottom, so they're going to cancel out. So now I'm going to get 2a is equal to one times b times h, so basically bh. Now, I'm trying to get the h by itself. So to get this h by itself, I do not want this b with it. What is B and H doing? They are multiplying. So to get rid of that um, B, I'm gonna divide by B and I'm gonna divide by B. And when I do that again over here, this B and this B cancel out. And I'm gonna be left with two A over B is equal to H. And that's our answer. It's not a number answer. We get a new equation. Now, I also went through letter B with the class. So um, letter B, what I'm gonna do is this one, we have only X's. So for this one, I am gonna get only one, uh, I'm gonna get like an answer and not like a new equation. So on this side here, this X is in front of this parentheses. So that means I'm multiplying, I'm gonna distribute. So I'm gonna distribute this X with the two X and the X with the minus one. So X times two X is two X squared. And then when I'm doing X times a negative one, I end up with a negative one X or just negative X. And then I'm just gonna copy the rest of the problem down. Now, um, in this case, I have X squared and I have X's on both sides. I want to get my X squareds together and I want to get my X's together. First thing I'm going to do is let's first focus on our um, X squareds. So for example, if I want to not have this X squared here and, I, and on both sides, I'm going to undo by doing the opposite. So I am going to minus two X squared. I'm going to minus two X squared. And what you see happens is these are going to cancel out. And on the other side, these are going to cancel out because I have the same amount on both sides. Okay. Um, and I am going to be left with negative X is equal to five X minus 12. So for us right now, oftentimes, if we have X squared in our problem, our X squared is going to disappear. It's going to end up canceling out. Not so in integrated two or three. Okay, but right now an integrated one. So now I have these X's on both sides. Um, you might wanna add the X to both sides, but if I do that, I'm bringing it over here with my negative 12. I wanna get my X's together, but I don't want them to be with this number. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I am going to minus five X minus five X because I want this on the other side. 
So a negative x minus 5x is a negative 6x. These here are going to cancel out. And I am going to get a negative 12. Then I'm going to divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6. And when I do, I'm going to get x is equal to 2. And that's my answer. So then the rest of the time the class was working on the rest of the problems. There were a couple of more that I did um, go over with the class after they had tried them. So you might want to try them, pause this, work on it. And the ones that I'm going to go over again, um, letter F. And letter H. Okay. So, and actually, e. so I will go over E, F, and H. Okay, so you might want to pause, try it, and then restart. Okay. So um, on this, on E, I am going to just, and uh, you want to pay attention to what variable I'm solving for because I have x, y, and z here. I'm solving for x, okay, solving for x. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to distribute this 2 to the 5x and the 2 to the z. So when I do that, I am going to get 10x, because they're multiplying, and then 2 times z is 2z is equal to 30x plus 3y plus 10. Now, again, I want to get solve for my x's. So um, I want to get the x's on the same side. So right now, you'll notice I have x's here and here, OK? Um, so what a lot of students did was they wanted to um, subtract 10x from both sides. Um, it's OK to subtract 10x or subtract 30x. Um, I'll do it the way most of the students in class were doing it. Um, they were subtracting 10x from both sides. And so they ended up with a 2z is equal to 20x plus 3y plus 10. Now, again, we are trying to solve. We are trying to solve for this x. So I want to get that x by itself. So the 20x, I do not want the 3y, and I do not want the 10. So to get rid of both of those, I am going to minus 3y, minus 3y, minus 10, minus 10. Now you might say, well, why are you writing it out here? I'm writing it out here because I like to line things up, like things under like things. So see how I've got y's here, numbers here? There aren't any y's here. There aren't any numbers here. So then when I rewrite this, I'm going to have a 2z. I'm going to start with the 2z. Um, a minus, I'm going to do minus 3y first and then minus 10. Okay, I can also do minus 10 and then minus 3y. And then I get a 20x. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 20. Now. Um, sometimes I might want to do each of them separately by 20, depending on the situation. In this case, I have a lot going on. Um, I'm just going to divide this whole side by 20. Dividing each separately is not going to make it any nicer looking. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by 20. So over here, these 20s cancel out. And I get 2z minus 3y minus 10 over 20 is equal to x. And that is your answer. OK, F. So on F, um, I have a lot going on on both sides. So I'm going to kind of clean up this side, and I'm going to kind of clean up this side. Now, um, over here, I'm going to take the 4x and distribute it. So I'm going to get 4x times x, which is 4x squared. 4x times 1, which is 4x, equal. Now, on the other side, I am going to, and I'm just going to do this right above here. 
multiply this out. And when we multiply this out, we use a box. Okay, I'm gonna take two X minus three times X plus five. So I'm gonna have a two X and minus three and a two X and a plus five, and I'm gonna multiply. Now, when I'm multiplying those out, two X times two X is going to be a four X squared. Let's see that, make it look like a four. Um, my 2x is going to multiply with my negative 3, and I get a negative 6x. 5 is going to multiply with 2x, and I get a 10x. 5 is going to multiply with negative 3, and I get a negative 15. Now, I want to combine that and add like things. So when I'm doing that here, these, oops, I thought I changed the color, sorry. These here. My 10x and my negative 6x are, the, are both x's, so I'm going to combine that. And when I do, I'm going to get a 4x squared plus 4x minus 15. So now I have a problem kind of like letter B, where I have x squares on both sides. So the first thing I want to do is let's deal with those x squares. So... I'm going to minus 4x squared, let me zoom in a little, um, minus 4x squared. And when I do, those are going to cancel out. Gone here, gone here. So now I have a 4x is equal to a 4x minus 15. Now, again, we're solving for x. So I want to get my x's together. So I'm going to minus 4x. I'm going to minus 4x. And when I do, what happens is here, those are gonna cancel out, but make sure you write zero. That's what I get, I get zero. When you get nothing, write zero. If you have something left over, you can just write what you have left over. So up here, when these four X squared canceled, I still had a four X, so I just brought that down. I don't need to put zero. But now when everything's gone here, I need to put zero. Um, and then here, the, whoops, these are gonna cross out. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a negative 15. Now, when your variables disappear, you look and say, hey, is this a true statement? Does zero to a negative 15? No, this is false. So what that means is your answer is no solution. If I ended up with like zero equals zero or negative 15 equal negative 15, which is true, then that would be all real numbers. Everything's a solution. The other one I went through was letter H. So on this one, we are solving for M, okay? So we wanna get our M by itself. Now my M's in the denominator and I do not like it in the denominator. So here, first, let me just rewrite this problem. Again, I don't want that M in my denominator. So I don't even want a denominator. So I'm going to fraction bust. I'm going to times this side by M. I'm going to times this side by M. And when I do it, those are going to cancel out. And I am going to get M times A, which I'm going to write as A M is equal to F. Now, remember, again, we are trying to solve for M. Okay, that's what we're trying to solve for. So I want to get my M by itself. So I am going to divide by A, divide by A, and I'm gonna get M is equal to F over A. So hopefully that helps you out on the rest of this. We did complete all of this and we submitted it um, for points.